Hi everybody, it's Dr. Chang. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a, a deep breathing exercise along with the full body joint mobilization exercise. So why deep breathing exercise? Because that's going to help us have a strong lung. Okay, especially now we're dealing with COVID-19, we need to have a strong lung so that we can fight off any infection and also make sure we can uh, supply oxygen throughout our body. And also joint mobilization is uh, because we're not really moving as much because of the quarantine. So I'm going to show you how to do that together with the deep breathing exercise. Okay, so stay tuned and watch this video. Uh, deep breathing exercise, real simple. So just watch me. So pretty much you're going to be breathing through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. So like this, breathe in through your mouth, throughout your mouth. And then if you look at from the side view, I breathe in through my nose. And you can see my stomach kind of goes out, bulges out. And when I breathe out, I contract my abdominal muscle and diaphragm and breathe out. So you're going to do this in repetition. So that way we can get a lot of oxygen to our body. The problem is, is that most people are nowadays, they are called chest breathers. So we do a very shallow breathing so we don't get enough oxygen. Our lungs are not as strong as, uh, as they're supposed to, right? And so now let's go ahead and show, uh, show you the... Um, the mobility exercise and uh, I'm going to start from the neck down to uh, pretty much the ankle. So the key thing is when you do this exercise, mobilization exercise, you want to continue doing the deep breathing exercise. Okay. So for example, I'm going to do the neck first. So close your eyes and just kind of roll your neck from one side to the other. Do a clockwise for 10 times. Okay. While you're doing the breathing exercise, so breathe in. Like this, breathe up, and then you can do the other side too. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the full 10, so at least you know uh, what you're supposed to do. And the next is the shoulders, so just go ahead and roll your shoulder like backward, still while you're doing your breathing exercise. So breathe in through your nose, so do this uh, 10 times, uh, and then also change the direction, and then 10 times inwardly. And when you do the breathing exercise, make sure you focus so that the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the air is actually flowing to the area that you're working on. So if you're doing a shoulder, just kind of imagine in your head, you're sending the, when you do the breathing exercise, you're sending the oxygen to those joints. And also the disclaimer is, if you feel any pain, please, please stop, okay? Do not exercise through pain. Please consult your doctor, chiropractor before you continue. The next one is make a fist and then just roll your shoulder outwardly like this. Again, do this uh, 10 times while you're breathing. <sighs> Breathe out and then uh, inwardly, okay? Do it 10 times again while you're doing the breathing exercise. And now keep your arms straight out and make a wing and then just rotate nice and uh, slow 10 times forward and 10 times backward. This is great to uh, exercise, loosen up your deltoid muscle and shoulder joint, especially if you're experiencing like stiff shoulder, possibly experiencing a uh, frozen shoulder. The next one is elbow. So keep your fist tight like this and just kind of again, make a circle, almost like a <laughs> karate uh, kid, uh, the movie, right? Wax on, wax off. You can keep your arms, uh, uh, palms out and then the other way, okay? Great for your elbow joint. The next one is your wrist. So you can again make a fist and then just roll your wrist uh, clockwise and then 10 times and then uh, counterclockwise 10 times. Again, this is great for uh, any kind of carpal tunnel problem and make sure you continue to breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And next we're gonna do the, the waist, okay? So put your hands on your waist and then do a circle, make a circle clockwise 10 times, doing a hula hoop dancing, okay? Belly dancing 10 times, right? Again, if you feel any pain, please stop and uh, don't uh, continue. The next one, I'm gonna show you a quick uh, stretching for the uh, whole body. <clears throat> what you wanna do is keep your feet together and put left hand up and then grab the left wrist with the right hand, just kind of pull to the side and hold it for 10 seconds. Turn your body into a big banana, okay? You can really feel the stretching from the tip of your hand all the way down to your foot. Same thing, grab the right wrist and kind of pull and then hold it for 10 seconds, all right? So next we're gonna move on to the hip. So hip, you can do this. You can keep your arms up and then bring your hip and 90 degree and rotate. 
outwardly, okay? Or you can do it, and then you can do inside, inwardly for 10 times. Again, if you feel like you're losing balance, go ahead and grab onto a chair and do that. So we'll just switch sides, do the 10 times on the other side, and the 10 times uh, <clears throat> counterclockwise. Again, great for any kind of hip joint issues to help you prevent the hip arthritis. Next one is the knee. Bring your knee to 90 degree and just uh, draw a circle. So imagine you're drawing a circle with your uh, uh, foot, clockwise 10 times, counterclockwise 10 times, and switch side, do it 10 times, uh, uh, clockwise, and then counterclockwise 10 times, right? And then the lastly, I'm gonna show you how to do the ankle. Ankle is easy too, just I'm gonna show you, kind of bring your, my knees higher, and you can see, I'm gonna put my foot pointing downward and just rotate. Okay, do this 10 times, clockwise and counterclock 10 times. And make sure you continue to breathe throughout the entire mobilization exercise. And switch side. And this is uh, great for any kind of uh, uh, ankle problem. If you had an ankle sprain, great way to uh, strengthen your ankle. And lastly, I'm gonna show you one bonus uh, tip that is uh, the balancing exercise. So this is how you do this. So you can keep your arms out like this, bring your knee up like this 90 degree and try to balance. And try to keep your eyes open, look straight ahead and hold it for 10 seconds and switch side and hold it for 10 seconds. Okay. Another variation, you can do this in the morning while you're brushing your teeth. So that way you can develop a good sense of balance because especially for older patients, right? Because when they lose a sense of balance when they fall, they could have hip fractures, which is a very, very bad news. So uh, this will teach you how to uh, develop balance, sense of balance early on. So again, this is pretty much it. So when you do the deep breathing exercise along with the, all this mobilization exercise, you can keep your body nice and loose and then get all the oxygen into the joint and then uh, make your lung strong and powerful, all right? So I hope this was very helpful to you and please share this video and then uh, if you have any questions, please call our office and uh, visit our website. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay well.